How is it going, boys and girls? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Here is another Helix-ish video. Uh, this is actually being built on the HX stomp. The reason for that is, uh, at the moment, my Helix is otherwise engaged. Uh, more about that another time. So, today's video, which you could tell by the title, was... Which is better, high-gain amp or high-gain pedal, or both? Um, and with the release of 2.9... You know, gives us a couple more options, a few things to kind of look at, um, which we will. But we will also take a look at stuff that's kind of already in there as well. So what you're looking at now is my main patch. This is kind of the one that is the go-to. Uh, I, I, for a long time, I was using the Soldano again, um, but the Marshall 2204 from Line Six, the 2204 mod. And that seems to be the one that suits the active pickups on this Fender Strat that I'm using. So uh, here is a overly driven, and I mean overly, you know, Johnny Lee style driven um, patch. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of a uh, lot of delay going on there, and uh, the rhythm patch is just got slightly less delay on it, <laughs> only slightly. Less. And the way that I make these patches, uh, I kind of do everything based around using the volume control on the guitar. <laughs> If I turn the, the volume up. So it's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy going. Um, so what we'll do is we will drop down. We will create another six block patch for the HX stomp. Let me just move that along there. There we go. So we'll take a standard amp. Let us take the... Where's our Soldano? So there's our Soldano amp. And that's it, just completely dry. So obviously there's not a lot going on, but I always like to add the flavor of the reverb. But let's just turn the noise gate on. There we go, it's nice and quiet now. So I always like to add the reverb as well because some people will make a patch with like no effects on and try and dial in the amp all perfect. But if you're going to throw this reverb or delay or whatever straight on, you might as well do it from the get-go. So, so there's a lot of mix there. We'll just take that down a little bit and we'll drop the decay. Okay. So it's it's obviously it's it's you know it's it's drivey. So what if we take the drive and we turn it all the way up? We'll come in and we'll do a little bit of a high cut on the cap. So that obviously is just with the drive of the amp. Turning off the hum and the ripple. Because I don't need no hum and ripple in my life. So then what we'll do is we'll jump in the front and we will go to Distortione. And we will pick one. So there's our kinky boost. You can hear that kicking in straight away. Mm. 
turn the drive all the way up and we'll go back to the amp and pull the drive down of the amp. <laughs> So you can hear how much that kinky boost kind of kicks the amp in the teeth. Uh, here we go. All right. I kind of like that. I like the balance between the two. So if we go to the Minotaur, maybe. And we'll take that off and we'll go back and we'll wind the drive up of the amp again. <laughs> Maybe go back to the Minotaur and switch it on, but turn the drive down of the Minotaur. See it coming on and off. If you haven't noticed this before, whenever I do a, a video uh, kind of demonstrating the pedals going on and off, I'll just play an A chord with one finger. And... As the guitar volume's kind of fading out, I'll switch the effect on and off. It kind of gives me a better reflection as to what is actually being whacked into this amp. That's a scouse turn, whacked into this amp. Kind of like that. Okay. So what if we then swap that for... And this is a personal favourite of mine. We'll go 808. And then we'll turn the gain all the way down. And turn the level all the way up. It's not a new thing. This has been around for a long time. Obviously, we're not dialing in the amp as deep as we would if we were making a full kind of gig and tone. Uh, you know, we could play with the bias and the bias X. And, you know, kind of whack that up a little bit and the, the master and the sag and whatever. But for demonstration purposes, just for this day, it's all about the pedals and the pedals only, darling. <laughs> And this is kind of my favourite. This is the way that I like to do it. So the drive is all the way up on the amp. And there's the setting for the uh, the tube screen. So what I've done there is I've kind of not done anything overly drastic except put the 808 in and just turn the gate down and turn the level up but it's it's nothing kind of fine tweaking where you're trying to get that golden spot where you think this is it i've created the tone of tones everybody else is shit <laughs> Right, so let's try another one. Uh, let us go down to the oh, the alpaca rouge. That's see, that's new. That's all new toys, darling. <laughs> So let's turn the drive down on the amp and go back to the alpaca rouge. I mean, there's a lot of balls in that amp, there, uh, in that pedal, sorry, a lot of balls. If it had a set of balls, it would be the biggest set of balls that you've ever seen. So I'd be tempted to kind of tame that one a little bit, take the drive out a little bit more. So which is better? I mean, is it high gain? We'll turn the drive back up to this as well and we'll turn that off. Is it high gain amp? Or is it high gain pedal? Let's see. Uh, there's the pedal. Let's just turn that up a little bit more. So we've probably got another one. Uh, 
where is it hiding? Where is it? 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 Yeah, let's look at the day on the drive. Yeah, let's do that. And again, if we take the drive down, take the gain off it. So you get to you get to hear the different flavors as to what's going on. You know, are you going to sacrifice drive on the amp to kick the amp in the teeth with the pedal, or are you going to turn the gain all the way up on the pedal and turn the drive down on that? So let, while we're here, let's just take another amp and we'll swap that for the Line Six Two Two Zero Four mod. Totally different flavor. I mean, for what I'm getting from that, it automatically kind of, for some reason, it makes me want to go. No idea why. But you get to see the different pedals with different amps are obviously going to, you know, totally mix in a totally different way. Uh, let's go to the Archetype lead. And we will swap it for, I don't know, let's see. Let's go the valve driver. Let's do that instead. So I know that the valve driver is kind of quite, it, it, it's a gainy little bitch. So that's the valve driver off. Uh, if we turn the gain all the way up on the arse tight lead. <laughs> I mean, that's a great amp on its own. I kind of really like that one. Uh, let's just drop that down a little bit more to full. We'll go across to the drive, the valve driver, and we'll turn it on. So what you're going to have to decide, I think, is, you know, which is the best way to go? Because within preset making, what I tend to find when if somebody sends me a preset that they're having trouble with, there'll be a l something quite simple going on where it's kind of choking itself out. So it's either going to be too much drive on the amp and too much drive on the pedal or not enough drive on the pedal and not enough drive on the amp. OK, so find the balance. What I would say is, you know, pick your amp turn the gain all the way down and then just kind of start scrolling through pedals and try and find the one that is is good for you you know um that's that's the, that is the, the only tip that i'll give you but uh let me just let me just do one more uh legendary drive which is the you know the, the steve Vai thingy and then this may sound a little bit familiar once we turn this on uh, so this is gives us the who what you know there's not a lot of drive on the who what there at all because the pedal is doing all of the work that's the pedal off and just the amp turn that pedal on and you get everything from it. I mean, everything from the pedal. So if I go to the end, uh, let's just move that along. Let's go to the end. We will pick up a delay and we'll make it stereo because I'm a nice guy like that. I'm trying to do this really, really quickly. Uh, we'll drop that mix down and we'll drop the... Let's drop the time up a little bit to... Round about there. Okay. So, drop the feedback down a little bit. Okay, so you hear that? All right. If you're a Dave Gilmore fan, 
of his solo stuff, you'll understand what this song is. song take a breath i'm probably gonna get a youtube slam for that now but whatever okay so that gives you an idea obviously if you're going to set up snapshots it's basically just the legendary drive the high what oh the who what sorry uh The ping pong delay, which is becoming another favourite of mine, and just the verb on the end. And this is all just HX stone, but it's very, very simple to do. So again, just as a recap, pick your amp, pick your pedal, and flick between the two. Where do you want your gain and your drive to come from? Where does it sound better for you with your guitar? Depending what guitar you're using, is going to be massively important. This is the one thing that all of these creators you know these tone creators the guys on marketplace and the guys on custom tone like me this is the important thing this these two things are massively important to team with your guitar okay so um, like i said i'm using a fender strap with uh emg dave gilmore pickups if i was to plug in a les paul right now or an ibanez gem or a bc rich death rapey master or whatever guitars that they are it would sound completely different. It's not going to sound totally the same. So bear that in mind. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. This was a quick one. I appreciate you being here. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the notification button. The button? What's a button? That's a, that's a new thing. Hit the notification button. Um, and, you know, you'll get notified when things are uploading. Uh, there is bike things coming as well. We did talk about that last time. And I will be doing Helix stuff very, very soon. Like I said, my Helix right now is otherwise engaged elsewhere. Take it easy, and I'll see you on the next one.